We'll give the binoculars a proper test here. Ooh, look at that! The bottles are marked! Oh, that's great. I have no idea how fast you can generally get these, and obviously you have to get the vault, uh, the vault information Eureka, to unlock this stuff anyways. My analysis tells me that if you trace the spinning crankshaft all the way back to its source, you'll find Raleigh's treasure key oh. and sabotage his machine while you're at it. You got it? <laughs> that was an awkward fall to my death. Alright, sabotage Riley's machine. As long as we don't fall to our death over and over again. Hold on. Now I can make sure, like, did I pass any anything around the area? There's four bottles between here and the other area. <laughs> I'm so happy about that. That's so useful. I hope I can get these maps, like, very often. Anything up here? Yeah, it doesn't really look like it. But it's gonna depend on how many abilities they want to give us over the course of the game, which hopefully won't be actually that much. Oh, hey. I really don't need to, like, cycle through 15 different abilities. Or at least I don't want to. Tying everything to triangle is unnecessary. Alright, I think this area is clear. Ooh, four balls along the way. I gotta watch out. Bad things can happen. Oh, Jesus! I don't know if that area down there will kill me. It doesn't look like it. All right. Good to know. <laughs> Did I miss anything up there? Doesn't look like it. Good. Got the bottles. And because these are properly covered with grains, I didn't have to die in the process. Okay, that's scary. What else do we have? Quite a bunch of bottles that way. Looking around. We're gonna, we're gonna make good friends with our binoculars. Also, I like how our binoculars tell us, like, uh, the cardinal direction. Like, that will help me out. Maybe there'll be a point where Bentley will be like, uh, Sly, you have to go south! And then I can generally understand that. But for now, I haven't had anything be like that. Hiding a binocular over there definitely would have been an interesting tactic. But they didn't do it. And I'm okay with that. Hiding a bottle. I think. I, I think I might have just said hiding the binocular. That's not what I wanted to say. I speak over... <laughs> I misspeak quite a few times. It happens. I refer to... My son in God of War by the wrong name. I called him Kratos. That's not his name. <laughs> I had to cut that out because I'm like, Oh god, everyone's gonna read me in the comments for that! He's not Kratos, Gum! Oh, uh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> I realize that. So if I ever call... Oh, shoot. I pressed O in the air, though. Ah, all right. If I ever call Bentley, like, Murray, or Murray Bentley or something, if that ever happens, I apologize. It's not that I've... Okay. It's not that I've forgotten the names, I've just made mistakes. If possible, I hope I can go through this entire game without finding out what happens if I completely run out of lives. 
It probably just kicks us back out into the, the main world rather than like, letting us go into a checkpoint. Which is sensible. Jeez. I shouldn't have had as much trouble as I did there. Alright, we got a breakable object. And then the balls are in that area over there. Okay, alright. Okay. It's fine for everything to fall one by one. I just gotta watch out for these lasers. Holy shoot! What? Okay! Great! And the last bottle! Nice try, bucko! But I'm the one doing the ambushing around here. These poor hard workers. They live in such dangerous, or live and work in such dangerous conditions that are somewhat well maintained, honestly. There are plenty of, like, warnings and cautions, which for a villain is pretty nice, right? He's yelling at them for their productivity, but still complimenting them, and then also making sure they know to stay behind the yellow line. Oh, jeez. Almost rolled right off there. Okay. Sometimes you gotta back it up and take a closer look. One, two, three, four. Alright, those are the last four we need. And they are not on this side of the gears. Get up the rats! Oh god, they explode in the green goo? I, I guess it's rated E. Yeah, that makes sense. But that's scarier than if it was blood. They're like mutant creatures at that point then. Oh, I guess I climbed the pipe. Okay. I guess I wasn't supposed to be here just yet. At least not from this direction. Can I go up this vent? Ooh, they were tied that. All right. Okay. <laughs> I'm not light as a feather. I am a raccoon. Not a bird. A thieving bird would be uh, pretty handy, though. I'm sure there's got to be someone in this universe who is a thieving bird. Alright. So the last bottle should be up here. And from what I've seen, the vault is below us, too. Aha! Had to take a gander, had to look around. Press the circle to enter the vault code. I can't believe I pieced this one together. Try 227. Oh, you got it. Two, two, seven. Outstanding. Another page from the Phoebus Raccoonus. This one features Dev Cooperinda's slow motion jumps. He used this to get by all kinds of airborne threats. Hit the triangle button while in the air to slow down time. Um, that's an odd one, but sure. How does that help me? <laughs> Can I start it from the ground? No, I have to be in the air and then activate it, which limits its use for me. If you activated it from the ground and it lasted a few seconds, that'd be way more useful to me than, than the other way.
because you don't really have that much air control anyway, so... If I'm jumping towards a dangerous subject, the only real way that I- that this helps me out is if I haven't double jumped. So if I jump, and then press triangle, and then press X, that could work. I just think I'll be able to get deal with most troubles without that particular item. Jesus. Okay. <laughs> Alright. But I'll take it. Maybe there will be some things where I need to, like, slow down time as I'm falling on something else. And I'll just have to manage that. Okay. Oh, this works. I didn't know if that was gonna end up, like, spinning back, back and getting me killed, but sure, I'm so glad the Lucky Charm exists. That helps me out so much for dumb mistakes like that. I didn't see that there was a- I just assumed that the catwalk would connect with the rest of this area. That's such a small hole. Okay. I've got a ton of these items now. Let's get this life. Things are pain. But I've got a lot of the keys, so I could go to the next area if I wanted to. Although the question is, how do I get up there? Hmm. Because if we take out the generator, it allows us to go below it. But how do I get above it? Maybe I have to go in there and then that's just like another door from above. So, or rather that's going to be the exit point. I'm not sure. They're kind of inconveniently located. I tried swinging my little, um, staff around. I don't know what to call this thing. Astonishing. All my calculations led me to believe you had failed to knock out that generator. Never was good at math. Well, here's a real test for you. I found a way out to Raleigh's hideout, but unfortunately, it is doomed to failure. You're not gonna tell me I have to shoot myself out of that cannon. I'm afraid that's the only way. Now you're talking. You're really scaring me, man. Anyway, to get inside that thing, you have to steal all seven of Raleigh's treasure keys. So what are we waiting for? You show me those hollow what's its You mean my holographic markers. Yeah, yeah. And I'll swipe whatever it takes to get shot out of that cannon and steal back my family's devious raccoonus. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's easy. How many of the keys do we have already? We have like four, right? Yep. So I just gotta find the other three. I don't know how to get up to a cunning to dis a disguise. Is it something I can access from here, or do I have to go around the other side? Because I'm not seeing a path, a clear path upwards. But I can try something else. Hold on. Let's see if I can jump from this area over here. Although, it doesn't look like it. See, the thing is, I don't see any, like, doorways that leads me to that room. Maybe I could jump along those rooftops? I see it. 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 There's a pipe over here. Oh! Hey, a lucky charm is inside that room. Hey, Sly! You can adjust the game camera using the right analog stick. And to bring the camera behind you, click it. Yeah, I don't think I'm ever gonna do the clicking thing. I'm fine with having just full control of the camera at all times. Again, I'm very happy to have a controllable camera in a 2002 game. Or a relatively controllable camera, that one wouldn't let me look up. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> I don't like that he... He turns around so quickly. Obviously, I'm running at him. I wonder if I can 
catch up to him by going slow and not having him turn around on us. But I'd rather just take him out really fast. Okay, I saw those bottles dangling around me. I just gotta be real sure there's no... Oh, Jesus! Got pegged. Raleigh appears to have booby-trapped this entire place! I'm gonna enjoy this. Don't you get it, Sly? If you step on that rug, forget about becoming a master thief. You'll be a master dartboard. Wait a second. What if I jumped into that barrel for protection? I don't know. It looks pretty risky. And very unsanitary. Only one way to find out. Yeah, sure, I'll, I'll take the barrel. As long as I can then get out of the barrel immediately to defend myself, that's good. Oh, look, there's the key right there. Oh, oh. oh shoot. I see there are some, uh, some more turret globes around here. Good thing that I still have access in this area, because I would have left my barrel behind and that would have been bad. Hold on now. I'm trying to turn the camera around. Oh, I can just break these too. How much money do they give us? Not a lot, honestly. That's alright. If the coins had a secondary purpose, that'd be nice too. Because if you already have a lucky charm, you might as well just be avoiding the coins. Although I guess you could always grab the coins. And then not grab any more until you need it. So far, so good. I bet if you stayed still inside the barrel, the guard won't be able to see you. Even if he shines his flashlight on you. <laughs> Bam! Okay, he heard me pop out immediately. What does that sound? Is that an alarm? I have no idea. Alright, we got two bottles above us over there. No bottles above us anywhere else for now. See, that almost sounds like a an alarm in a kind of way. Or is it like a rat a creature just looming around? I'm not fully sure. Whap! Wait, hold on, I need to do my air slowdown to help me get across this area. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Did it help? Eh. Yeah, okay. Oh. Yeah, that would do it. Oh, Jesus! Ah! Oh, oh, oh my God. Oh, shit. <laughs> That's that is definitely deserved. <laughs> I just I was up there going, huh, I just like skipped this entire area. And then I saw the turrets. And I knew we were in a trouble spot. Because I need to bring my barrel all the way up there. Fine. That is a cheeky way to make sure I have to do the entire level, basically. Mm. 
They'll shoot you pretty darn quickly. I was hoping to maybe break them while I was up there. I was like, yeah, I can just run, I can just jump around the railing and take them out, and they just shot me on sight. I wasn't even touching the rug. I was jumping around it. But fine, they were like motion sensitive. The heck is going on up there? Huh? Why is this... Why is there a... Wait, is that supposed to be me? Oh my god... There's this super huge, absolutely terrifying, giant fucking shadow on the ground that shouldn't possibly be me, and yet it moves with me, I can see the tail flicking around. So unless, uh, Sly's got a shadow version of himself that's huge and just follows him around everywhere, I think there's a bug! That's very funny. Do I still have a tiny shadow on me? Look at this! I do! I have a normal shadow below me and then a huge shadow over there in that... Underneath that light. Dude, what the hell? I love video games. <laughs> oh, shit. Gotta watch out for that. Can I... Hmm. Oh, wait! The light doesn't give a shit if I'm a barrel! Right! Oh, fuck! I moved at the worst time for that. Alright, I need seven more bottles. Where the hell are they? There's two down there. Oh, I never grabbed that bolt. Uh, two there, and then three up there. Yep, that would do it. I almost dropped straight into the fire. I saw that vault the first time around, I was just, in my mind, I knew I was like, eh, I'll grab it when I'm going back down here. Look at the, in the barrel. This guy has such a short fucking patrol pattern, that's so bizarre. I was gonna try and walk up on him. I wasn't expecting him to turn around right there. I was just kind of <laughs> stood there going, "Wait, okay, okay." If they had a longer patrol pattern, it wouldn't be so bad. And they don't want that. Oh, need two more. Ah, it's the ones down here. Got gotcha. you. I was supposed to normally know. Oh, all these move? Yeah, alright. That makes sense. Of course, there would be thieving based, like, trickery. You want to hide behind a secret bookshelf? You got it. Hello, Shadow Sly Cooper. Press the circle to enter the vault code. You have to tell me every single time. With the help of a straight edge the answer was simple. Dial in 242. Two. You got it. 242. Interesting. Chris Cooper's dive collection technique. This move is an extension of the dive move you already know. Just jump and hit the triangle button near breakable objects for some fast breaking, fast collecting action. Oh. Okay, my dive's got an upgrade. I guess the slow, I guess we're gonna keep on like getting parts of like the various series. So, we might get upgrades for the slow so we can activate it on the ground. And the roll so we can, I don't know, do a roll attack out of it or something. Oh boy. Oh god. Got out of it in a very bad time. 
But okay. That gives me faith. That gives me faith that we're not gonna have some weird things with this game. Where they're just like, yeah, we're gonna give you 15 abilities, now we're gonna give you a few abilities, and over the course of the game, they can get upgraded as you continue to do the optional stuff. The optional, like, air quotes, because you probably do want the gear. But I imagine you could probably beat the game without getting a single one of these upgrades. I mean, so far they are very much just a very slight gimmick. So, eh, we'll see how they perform at the end of the game when they, we can just do so many different kinds of actions with them. But I actually have to take a bit of a break, and when we get back, we will get the rest of the secret keys. So be right back.